As for pocketing, the new surf cam has pocket rough, which I would suggest, but we're going to go ahead and use pocket just because I don't know if you have the old surf cam and it always works and I know it's on every surf cam. So I'm going to go ahead and do pocket. We're going to chain. We're going to chain select the inner side, the inner pocket, not the dovetail purple geometry, but the inner geometry. Hit D for done. All right. We have a 3 8 10 mil. We're going to name it tool 3. We're going to go 7500 feeding 35 plunge rate of 12 for helical length. And we're going to go to cut control, climb, spiral. All this information is fine. We're going to go to bottom geometry because that's where our geometry is sitting. All right. I'm not sure what our depth is. We need to analyze that, but let's just say 200 thou for now. We need at least 10 thou for a Z finish pass. Stock to leave, we're going to leave 8 thou for a finish pass in X and Y. We're going to do a 50 thou archon, should be fine. Maximum radius, we're going to say 0.1. Helical, change our radius to a little smaller, so let's say 0.4 and 0.2 on the pitch. And again, those are the only two numbers I ever change in helical. All right, let's see what it looks like. So we're going to hit OK and select on the inside, which it already has, and looks great. So now what we need to do is analyze distance, that endpoint to that endpoint. The depth we are going is 116,000, so let's go ahead and change that. So I just hit the Operation Manager hotkey, which I set up under Tools, Options, or Customize. It's one or the other. We have a whole video tutorial showing you how to customize your hotkeys. But if you ever see the operation manager just pop up, that's just because we set up the hotkeys. So you right click and go original. And we're going to go 116,000. Hit OK. And now that is pocketing that out. Let's go ahead and do a finisher pass. Tool 4. Instead of 7,500, we're going to go 5,000. Eh, let's go 5,500. Not that that's a huge difference, but just more of a gut feeling. Uh, we'll slow down the feed rate a little bit, give it some time to cut. Let's say we'll go 25. And as I'm running it, I might feel like it's taking too long, so I might go ahead and bump this up to 7,500 feeding 50. But just to get the program up and running, that's what I'm going to start out with. We're going to plunge at 20 and 3 8 finisher. Now, as for running production, if you are on the machine, we're going to have a, a whole discussion about this. But uh, while I'm talking about it, what I like to do is get the very first part running. I like to make a whole program like this. As it's running, I have a notepad, and if I'm bumping my feeds and speeds up or slowing them down, I'm changing, I'm writing it down in the notepad. That way I'm not bouncing back and forth to the computer. What I do is I run through an entire part, make all of my notes, and then at the very end of the program, I go in there with my notepad, and I change all the things that I changed on the notepad, and then I repost it. That way, like I said, it's not bouncing back and forth. So we're going to go to Cut Control now. We are on bottom. We're going to take all the stock off. And I don't think we can step over more. Yeah, so 168 is as high as we can go. It won't leave a giant step over finish, but that's not that big of a deal. And we're going to hit OK. And that looks pretty good.